What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this error in here which is a very common error on iPhone users where you do have this message which says liquid detected in USB-C connector disconnect charging cable to prevent damage to iPhone and allow the connector to dry. This may take several hours okay so officially Apple themselves say that this will take a few hours but I'm gonna show you a workaround in here to get rid of this error and in order to fix your issue in much shorter period of time. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks as well as tech guides in here. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel, specifically if you're into Apple devices content in here as I do share a lot of Apple related stuff here on the channel. Now in today's video we'll be talking about a very common issue in here which is basically having a liquid here inside your charging port in here which usually triggers this message in here whenever you try charging your phone now first things first what I would say is do not insist your phone in charging once you see this message right here relax keep the charger aside and I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue right now now the very first thing that I would recommend you guys to do is to actually turn off your phone so you want to press and hold the side volume down button along with the power button in here for a couple of seconds release it and then slide to power off your phone real quick that's the very first thing you want to do in here next up if you do have a case or a cover you want to make sure you detach that specific case here from your phone so you can actually get a good access here into the charging port on your iPhone device now regardless of your iPhone model in my case I've got in here an iPhone 16 Pro these steps are exactly the same in order to remove liquid here from your charging port now not insisting is very important otherwise this might damage your iPhone or your charging port in here because we're dealing with current and current and water are not friends at all now please note that an iPhone is not 100% waterproof but it's water resistant okay it has a really good resistance to water but it's not waterproof hence you can still actually damage here your charging port if you keep on insisting while you haven't actually got rid of the water that you've got on your phone so here we go this message usually comes when you do have water here inside the charging port specifically if your phone fell inside water or if you've spilled water here into your phone sometimes of course it's simply a bug or an error or something going on with your cable but in most scenarios it's in fact water here inside your charging port now moving into the solution in here once you turn off your phone what you want to do is simply keep your hand like this it needs to be with your hand keep it like this and then you simply want to hit your phone in here for a few minutes one two or three minutes if you're tired you can rest a bit continue but you want to actually perform this movement as this will help ejecting the water that you've got in here stuck inside your charging port okay so keep on doing this and throughout the time you'll even notice that a few drops of water are going to fall here into your hand and this is an indication that in fact you do have a lot of water inside your charging port so you want to perform this for minutes until you stop actually getting water here on your hand or falling on your hand okay so this is the very first step in here that you need to perform next up what you're gonna do is find out a dry toothbrush in here make sure it's clean of course you don't want to end up increasing dust or dirt here to your port so make sure that it's dry and clean and what you're gonna do is simply insert it here inside of the charging port and you want to perform this movement in here and then bring it outside okay so you want to remove as much dust and as much liquid if you do have some you want to simply move it from the sides and bring it out like this by performing this movement in here so insert it bring it out okay insert it bring it out now make sure that you pass your finger here on the toothbrush to remove some water here which has been transferred here to your toothbrush right next up continue perform the same movement inside 
bring it out and then flip your phone upside down perform the same movement insert it in here bring it out insert it in here bring it out and perform this multiple times in order to actually remove all the stuff that we've got in here inside our charging port now if this step didn't help fixing the issue we're moving into the next step after performing this one for two to three minutes as well sometimes you just need to perform the same steps multiple times in here until all water gets removed moved from your phone. Remember that your charging port is very sensitive and it's been built in a specific way that it's not going to charge if it detects just a little bit of sensibility in here. This is for safety purposes only. You just need to thank Apple for actually even creating this feature right here. Okay. Now, if the issue is not fixed right now, we're moving into the next step in here. Now, here on the next step, we actually need an air blower, okay? Something to actually keep on blowing air in here to actually make this get dry as fast as possible. You can get an air blower or something like a hair dryer, but you want to make sure if it's a hair dryer, you want to actually switch the temperature to normal temperature. You don't want to actually heat this up with hot air. You want to make sure that you're actually blowing inside is the normal temperature air. Okay. If you're unable to have an air blower or hair dryer, you can actually put it in front of the fan and this might help as well. Now, in my case, I've got in here, this air blower right here okay it's actually a vacuum cleaner but at the same time it's an air blower here at the back it has multiple function in here and I'm gonna use this as an air blower here to actually blow air inside my charging port in here so this is how it goes I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna keep it here in order to blow air here inside of the charging port make the up down movement and then the left right movement here we go you want to perform this for approximately five to 10 minutes, okay? And then next up, we're gonna test it out if it's sorted out or not. Now, if you do have a hair dryer, remember, just keep it on normal temperature and keep on blowing here as well. The more pressure of air, the better. You wanna perform this for five to 10 minutes, remember, keep on doing it and this should dry the charging port that you've got. Now, if this doesn't actually dry the port that you've got, that might be probably because you might be having something sticky inside. For example, you might have spilled cold drink or a juice. If that's the case, what I would recommend you guys to do, if you do have a water resistant iPhone, such as mine, for example, you simply wanna pour a bit of water in here and then you wanna remove that water and then you wanna continue with the same steps in here. While your phone is turned off, and remember you need to have a water resistant iPhone okay now this is because you actually want to make sure that water helps diluting what actually got sticky inside your charging port okay juice and cold drinks are the worst thing to actually make fall here into your charging port so it will be something like this for example I do have a bit of water in here I'm gonna simply put a bit of water in here for example now remember that this is just something that you need to do only only and only if you do have for example a water resistant iPhone and you you are in a situation that you feel that you do have a bit of sticky liquid inside of your charging port and it's something that you can feel it while hitting your phone in here you can feel that it's sticky then you're gonna take water here simply pour it a bit inside of the charging port there we go and then simply remove it like this okay and then we're going to perform the same steps as before we've got this one right here okay removing as much water as we can from here and then we've got the toothbrush movement there where we're going to insert the toothbrush and then at the end last but not least we do have the air blower that we're going to blow here in order to dry our charging port there we go air blower very 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 efficient you can also put it upside down, okay? You wanna make sure it dries up real quick, okay? This is a very, very, very easy process. Water dries really, really, really quick, okay? Quickly, water dries quickly, 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 so you do not need to worry. Just perform this movement right here, upside down, charging port. You'll be able to see that your phone is already dry real quick. Now, in order to double check, you can also continue hitting your hand in here and see if you do have 
more water coming out here from the charging port now once you're secure that this has been actually removed completely we're moving into the next step where we simply need to turn it on and see if things are working fine now if things are not working fine you can keep on doing this for more time this can take 15 to 20 minutes and last but not least if it doesn't help out just keep your phone in this position like this for one to two hours while it's actually in the vertical position because this will help out making all that specific water keep on falling down using gravitational force real quick okay now last but not least if your phone was inside for example a pool or inside the bowel where the entire phone got water you can actually perform something else here to help it's an extra bonus tip to actually eject water from your speakers up and down so you can hop into google real quick and simply type here water eject sound okay and then tap on okay and you'll be brought to this web page in here which is the first one known as fix my speakers tap on this website fixmyspeakers.com and then you're going to simply tap on this button to turn on a specific audio which has a custom frequency that will help out ejecting water from your speakers in here this is going to help you a lot so you can actually hear properly for example if you're hearing uh, your speaker cracking a bit or something like that simply tap here and this will create this audio right here which will actually help you removing all the dust and water that you've got on your speakers in here now please note that this only works for the speakers okay it's going to help you out even when you turn it on you'll be able to feel a bit of air here coming out from your speaker and this will actually help out fixing your speakers as well specifically if you're coming out from a pool or a shower or if your phone fell into a bowl of water or something like that thank you so much for making it till the end of the video i hope this video really helped you if it did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and if you have any question or any doubt let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure i get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day